Robert Snow Day shirt last night and check out what's outside. We got a bunch of snow outside. That's right, Sharers, it's a snow day. Snow day, let's go out and play. Oh, and before I go outside, gotta get the share the love beanie. That's right, shares. If you want all the swag, you can get it in the swag store. Link in the description below. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's get outside. Let's see what Carter and Liz are up to. And baby Otter and Millie. Oh, it's it's Millie's first snow day. I just realized L Millie's never seen snow. Let's go see how she's playing along. Uh oh, Carter, what's going on? Oh, what's up, Steve? What's up, shares? Welcome to the vlog. What are you working on? Well, you know how you said next time it snows, you're gonna do your rocket powered sled? Oh yeah, rocket powered sled? Yeah, well I got a bunch of rockets. I think we should go try it. Rocket powered sled! Oh, that's awesome. Have yeah. you been outside yet? Yeah, I've been outside like all morning. I've been driving my X-Max, the world's biggest RC car. I even tried to pull a prank on Liz, but it backfired. <laughs> And Mama Cher and Liz even made an igloo. It was so cute. Baby Otter loves it. Where's Millie, Otter? There she is! Hi, Millie. What's going on in the fort? Yeah, Cher's my mom made an igloo for Baby Otter and Millie, and they've been playing in it all day. They totally love it. Oh, and Millie loves the igloo, too. Hey, Cher, how you doing? Oh, man, it looks like Otter's looking out the window. He's trying to go back in his igloo. He's just been watching the snow. You having a good snow day, Otter? What do you see out there? You just watching everyone come over and play? You want to go sledding? You want to go outside? <gasps> you want to go in your igloo, Otter? Oh, well, it looks like it's starting to get a little dark outside. I've been inside all day. I've been working on a very, very, very special video for Saturday at 10 a.m. Really? It's super special. So, share it. If you want to set an alarm, we're going to be giving away 10 swag packs for that Whoa. vlog. Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get ready. It's going to be very epic. I'm ready. I don't even know what special video you're talking it's about. It's super special. Do I know what it is? Saturday, 10 a.m. You'll find out, Okay, Sharers. I can't wait. Well, let's see, where is this rocket-powered sled? I think Carter might have been using it earlier today. So I don't know where it is, but here's the igloo. Check this thing out. It's an igloo for the dogs. They go in here, and they hang out inside there. It's actually really warm inside. Then we have some wobble bubbles here. Oh, there it is. Here is the sled, Shares. Check this out. This might look like a normal sled, but by the end of this vlog, it's gonna have rockets on it and be zooming fast. Uh, rocket -powered! So let's grab this sled because the only thing we're missing right now is the big rocket cartridge that goes on the back. Shares, if you haven't seen the first vlog, we had this sled completely modded out to fit six huge rockets on the end. But then it got warm and we never thought it was going to snow again, but it got snow so it's time to actually do the rocket powered sled. So let's go see if we still have the rocket cartridges. Carter, did you find the rocket cartridges? Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, I think this is it, right? This looks so good. Yeah, how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six giant rocket cartridges. Yeah, that means this will be six times the power. I don't think this has ever been done before in a sled, but it goes on the back just like that. Oh, yeah. We just got to tape it on really nice and tight, and then we'll be ready to do some thrust. Let's bring the sled and the rockets up. Carter, how do we do this? Just like this? I don't know. Don't ask me, Steve. You're the one that built this. I didn't build this. It's technically a prototype, but uh, I think just like this looks pretty good, right, Carter? Yeah, it looks good to me. Now you just gotta tape it on, and then we'll add the rockets. Some help taping this thing. This thing is huge. Oh yeah. Let's we'll tape this thing on. It's gonna take a lot of tape. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good, Steve. All right, let's cut the tape. Oh yeah, let's get ready to go outside. Carter, get your coat on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Steve, I don't think you know this, but I don't wear a coat when it's snowing outside. I got a really cool snowsuit. Steve, check it out, this is my snowsuit. And Ooh. the coolest part about it is how you get into it. Ready? Yeah. Check this out, you just gotta step right in. In three, two, one, go. Whoa! Whoa. There we go, I'm all ready to go out in the snow. Let's do this Let's thing. do it. We're gonna have to open both doors for this. All right, let's bring this thing out. The monster sled. It's gonna take two people to carry this thing. Oh yeah, it's super heavy now, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, lift. Oh, it is heavy. Woo, this you thing is. the rockets. Oh yeah, you're right, we forgot the rockets. Okay, you know what, let's put it down. I'll test it, Carter, you run up and grab the rockets. Okay. Test number one is to make sure this works, right Carter? Yeah, you gotta make sure that the sled, or the snow is sledable. Oh, these rockets take up a lot of the sled. Yeah, you barely oh, fit. Oh wow, it is fast. Oh, no oh, rockets, it is still fast. Here you go. Whoa, there he goes, Shares. Go get him, Millie. Whoa, this thing is fast. Whoa, that thing is awesome. We haven't even put rockets on it yet. And that thing is fast. When we put six rockets on it, it's going to go even faster. I think we got to go in the front yard for a bigger hill when we put the rockets on. Millie, come on, baby. Come on, Millie. Come on, Steve. Come on, Millie. Come on, baby. Good girl. Oh, 
Shara's Millie loves the snow. She's being so cute. Well, Carter, what are you waiting for? Let's go grab those rockets. So going down the hill was just a little test to make sure that the sled even worked. Uh, the next step, Carter, what is the next step? Well, we gotta add all of these rockets to it because this will give you the extra thrust for extra speed. Yeah, Shara's, these rockets are gonna be crazy, so you definitely don't wanna try this at home, but this, this could be awesome. So to get these rockets ready, you gotta take the cap off like this. It's kind of hard. And now we tape them in because this is where the rocket flame is going to shoot out. So then what? we're just going to use duct tape and tape them in, Carter? Yep, and we'll use a lot of duct tape, hold each rocket in place, we should be good to go. You think that's going to hold all that thrust in? I hope so. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's only one way to find out. We're just going to use a lot of duct tape. Let's tape these rockets in. Oh, Carter, you need chapstick? What? What is this? Is this Carter's chapstick lanyard? Yeah, isn't that so cool? That's awesome. Oh! Woo! Yeah, I use this when I go snowboarding because my face and lips always get burnt in the sun. The shares, we got the rockets in there. We just gotta tape them on real good. I hope this duct tape sticks. I hope it's, I hope it's strong enough. Yeah, if this duct tape's not strong enough, I don't know what's gonna happen. The rockets are just gonna take off and the sled's gonna go nowhere. Well, it can't be that hard. I mean, it's not like it's rocket science. Wait, it is rockets and it is kinda a science project. Okay, so maybe it is rocket science, but I don't think it's that hard anyways. We're just gonna put a lot of tape on it and hopefully the rockets will stay put. Yeah, shares, we've done a lot with the rockets. We've done rocket power scooters oh! Oh! <laughs> we've done a rocket powered nerf football here we go, go. Ah! whoa oh Carter what? oh my god if that football landed in your backyard shares coming right now we still haven't found it to this day so this is gonna be another rocket vlog and uh Let's hope this one actually works. Woo, check it out. We got the rockets all taped on. Look at this. You think they're gonna hold? Uh-oh, that rocket looks loose. Carter. That one looks loose. That's dangerous. Hang yeah. on, we better take that back up. Rockets are on. Let's bring this to a new hill, Shares. We're gonna go to the front yard. Because... Why is this not moving? It's got a lot of weight in the back now, Carter. Yeah, this thing looks kind of heavy. Look how heavy it is. It's making its own track in the snow. But yeah, Shares, the hill in the front yard is even bigger. So it'll give us more room just in case this thing really takes off on us. The only problem with doing the front hill, it is bigger and it is steeper. Whoa! Oh, but is uh, that there's a pond at the end, so if you can't stop in time, you might fall in the pond. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Whoa! I almost fell again. Careful, it's steep. It is steep. Sure, look at this. All this snow is untouched. It's a fresh winter wonderland. Yeah, this looks awesome out here. It's like a massive igloo. Yeah, there's one in the backyard, yeah, Steve. For, it's mini for Otter and Millie, but we should build like a huge one for us to go inside. I was thinking if there's still snow out tomorrow, we should come out here and do a frozen box for it made of snow. Oh. Just yeah. make it like a big box and then carve it out so it's like a box would be so crazy. That'd be epic. Before we light these rockets on, let's do a little dry run. Make sure this hill is actually steep and gets us some speed. Steve, this hill is definitely steep. I can look at it. It's so well, steep. Yeah, but I don't even know. I feel like this snow is like not the right amount of snow. Well, it's really like squishy. It's wet. Oh, it's so you, getting really wet. I think you need to pack it down Carter, first. You might have to give me a good push. Yeah. All right, Carter, give me a good push. Okay, Steve, here we go. Rocket sled test number one. There you go, three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go, Shares. Uh oh. You think he'll be able to stop in time before the pond? He's going so slow. Oh, come on. We'll hopefully get a little bit farther. Oh, okay. We only made it this far. Whew. Not bad. We definitely packed down some snow though. Not bad, it was actually really slow, but I think it's packed down a little bit better now, so we should go a little faster. Yeah, it's super slow, but when you go sledding shares, you gotta kinda go down a few times and pack the snow down, and then it starts getting faster and faster. So let's see if we go faster this time. I don't even think I'm gonna have to push you this time because now you have a trail, so it's already packed down a little bit. Well, give me a little push. Up oh, there you go, I'm telling you, it's going faster. Oh, it's way faster, whoa. Whoa, whoa, it's definitely faster. Check this out, whoa! It's definitely going faster. Oh yeah. We almost made it all the way to the pond. Oh yeah. Woo. That was a lot better. Okay, Carter, it's getting a lot better. That was the second time it got so much faster. Almost made it to the pond. We'll do one more test run and then we'll light the rockets off. And I think we'll definitely be good to go. Yeah, the only problem is that if you go too fast, you might get wet in the water, Steve. No, I'll bail before that. That way the water will put out the rockets, but I'll jump off way before any of that happens. Here you go, Steve. Take a look at Whoa, this. you're going so fast. Whoa, it's going so much faster. Oh yeah, woo! Uh-oh, don't get wet. The pond, the pond. Oh my gosh, sure. He was like, it looks like he's like only a couple feet away from the pond. If we do the rockets, I think it's, he's gonna go too fast and he might get in the water. He might go in and the water is so super cold. This could be bad. Three attempts so far. 
Carter, I think we're ready to go. It's time to actually light the rockets this time. I think it's gonna be super fast. Yeah, I think this is gonna be crazy. I just hope that you can stop in time before you get to the water. That would be super bad if you go in the water. I think I can, I'll just fall off before. That way the rockets can land in the water and they'll like stop working, but uh, I'll just be out right before. If you go too fast, I don't know if you'll be able to jump off though. You think they're gonna be that fast? I don't know, you you have like six rockets on here, so it's gonna be pretty fast. Well, I'll know one way to find out. Let's do this, Carter. Shares, definitely don't try this at home. All right, you ready, Carter? Yep, you all ready? Ooh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get the torch. We're gonna light all these rockets off. We got the torch, the torch is lit already. This is about to be crazy, Shares. Every once in a while we do something absolutely, totally crazy and epic on Steven's channel. And that's what we're doing today. Steven, I hope you are ready for this. This is your crazy idea and it's about to happen. Woo, your torch is already lit. Yeah, I got my torch lit. Okay. I'm ready to go. Rocket powered sled, let's do this. Okay, I have a lot of rockets to light. Let's do this thing. Here we go. This is about to be awesome. Uh -oh. I, okay, I have five rockets to light. Woo. Here we go. Let's do it. Ah. I'm gonna light the first one in three, two, one. Uh -oh. Ah. oh my gosh! Rocket powered sled. Okay. What is going on? Woo. They're lit, Steve. They're lit. Oh. You ready? Go, go, go! Rocket powered sled. Oh. Go, Steve. Go. Rocket powered sled. Whoa! It's out of control. It is freezing cold, Carter. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How are we gonna get that out of the water? The rocket powered sled just went a little bit out of control. Ah! Yeah, oh the gosh. rockets are still going. It is so cold right now. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Should I go back in and get it? You think you can get it? I don't know, it's like really too cold. How was how cold was the You must be, you have like frozen boogers all over it your face. It is so cold, that water is freezing. Whoa, Steve, that was, this was a really bad idea. We shouldn't have done this. I knew the pond was gonna get in the way. Sherris, I even said it. I said if he goes too fast, he's not gonna be able to stop and fall in the water. Yeah, Sherris, definitely don't do this at home. So Sherris, I was just going down the hill. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to bail, but then the rockets started powering even more. I think they don't start powering until like 30 seconds after because uh, they're still on, Carter. Yeah, that one broke off and it's just bubbling out there, Steve. The fact that these rockets are waterproof is crazy. Like, look yeah. at that thing, it's yeah, still Steve. going. Steve, the whole plan was that, worst case scenario, it goes in the water and it puts the rockets out, but they're in the water and they're still burning. This was absolutely crazy. I had no idea. Well, I did not expect this whole thing. This was crazy. Yeah, uh, shares. Like I said, don't try this at home. This is what happens if you make a rocket powered sled. You'll fall in the freezing cold water. I am so cold, Carter. See if you're totally wet. I'm totally wet. I need to head back inside. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What happened? What was that? What was that, Steve? What are you doing out here? No time to talk. I gotta go inside. I'm freezing cold. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Oh my camera's frogging. Liz, what happened? What happened? Why are you oh wet? Gosh, I finally reached 100,000 subscribers, so I took the zip line and jumped into the water. It was so cold. It was so cold. So if you wanna watch it, make sure to click that video right there. Right, right there. there. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sharers, go watch that video. Liz and I are gonna warm up. That's all for today. Until next time, you know, you know what, what to do. do. Stay, Stay awesome and share the love. Peace. Love.